Less than one minute remaining. Are they going to cross the line before? Yes, they will. So there's going to be another lap after this one. How long can Scape hold him out? Down the inside goes Jason Richards. The oh, two cars they both go. Oh, no, he's gone into the they gravel. They both go. No. Jason Richards can't salvage it from there. Oh, oh. Scape gets out. Unbelievable. Can't get it going. Leave it. Fair trip. Absolutely unbelievable in the space of Kieran Will says it all as Jason Richards finishes what was a great scrap with Mark Scape in the ditch. What a finish. The clock has ticked over and after a blue blitz in the championship, Mark Scape and Todd Kelly turn the tide and win the Sandown 500. He draws alongside Mark Scaife. Now it's a true drag race. You probably get him down here, but he's gonna have to really stick his nose in. And it'll be the greasy side of the road, side by side. Lounge gets him. Scaife doesn't want to yield, but he has to. New race leader. It's gotta be a mistake-free run now for Lounge. He's already skipped away. Oh, the thing crossed up at the end of the back straight. That was a big catch. He's on his way home and he's got to hold on to it. Final couple of corners. The Better Electrical 500 will be won by the Better Electrical Falcon. Triple Eight Racing, Roland Dane and all his team will celebrate. Craig Lowndes, Ivan Muller wins Sandown. Ford is heading for its third consecutive Better Electrical Sandown 500 win. The boys crossing their fingers. Winterbottom has done all his work early in the day. He did 90 laps. So too Kelly. Kelly did almost a full complement allowed for one driver. He almost did 107. And then handed over to his younger brother. Can Rick Kelly do it? Or will Bright hang on for his first Sandown 500 win? It'll be a first for either driver. Rick was just a little wide down there that time off the top of the hill. Jason runs defensive. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Closing two corners. Kelly goes the other side this time, but that catboard is wide. Great driving from both men. He's going to try and crisscross. He might sneak up the inside. It'll be absolutely nose to tail at the control line. What a fantastic race. Better electrical sound down 500 really goes to Ford to Performance there, Racing. That's great racing. Jason good job. Bright. Mark Winterbottom wins Sandown. Oh, this is a go, this is a go. This is a chance. And oh. down there they've hit. They've run into each other. He's pushed Wink up off. And down the inside goes Winterbottom. That was a very bold move. And you just saw Tim Edwards say, what do you reckon, guys? Is he up there far enough or should he give the spot back? We'll show you that again. That was a very, very aggressive move. Two to go, mate. Two to go. Eyes forward. That's obviously one way to do it. Okay. There we go. So down there. Just see what they hit. Well, that's right at the B pillar. That's right at the point we've always determined where the peripheral vision for the driver is. The pace was here. He did a really good job across the top of the hill. He made ground down into Dan on road and he dived. And then all of a sudden, contact. Wink up off. And off the road he goes. Now, there's not much in that. I can't see there being any action over it. As we go back and look at an interesting battle here with David Russell, car number 78 on the outside of him is Todd Hazelwood. Oh, Bang. trouble. Big trouble at the end of the back straight. And that's a terrible oh. incident. A terrible incident for Hazelwood. My goodness me. That is a shocker. This will be a red flag. Jonathan Webb is the other partner in this. Wonderful job in his wild card appearances this year. Here's another angle of it. Violent impact, huge energy dissipated by the tyre barrier and the car flipped up onto its roof. And this is where the multi-point harness, the seats, the hands device that secures the helmet so that he doesn't end up with uh, a disproportionate amount of movement uh, with that kind of impact does its job and the good news is that uh, he's out of the car let's have a look in real time and listen oh! riding with van gisberg and there's the stranded lebrock nissen that's taz douglas in the orange blue and white car off to the right Lowndes goes down the inside in the Caltex entry. Ash Walsh is in the Norm Beachy colours. So does 
Gizzy make also some contact here as he shoots down the inside. He may have just snipped the right front there as yep. he went through turn two. Yep. So Shane's just got the hot knife through okay, butter going here. Red flag, here. red flag. And uh, the red flag has been called as we safety car, lead cover the cars off. around. To... And some cars have pitted. In fact, there's been five of them that have pitted. Walsh, Jacobson, Russell, LeBrock, Cando and Douglas. Well, have a look at the ground he's made. He's got two guys in the back straight there because it's going to be a really good run out of turn four. And a little bit of side drafting. Got to run there, Van Gisbergen. He's done it. Out of the last corner now. Cam Waters, the Monster Energy Falcon for ProDrive. His first ever victory in supercar competition and 300 magnificent points. The things from he and his family that they've done to get him to this position right now. I saw his dad, Chris, earlier in the weekend. There's his co-driver, Richie Stanaway, engineer, Brad Wisherson, and uh, he's lighting up and killing the remaining life in those Dunlop super soft tyres. He got home in the end officially by 0.67 of a second. That was a great mature drive. Adam DeBore, Rod Nash. Can't even see where he is at the moment. <laughs> That's the 75th and 76th winner all time. So two new winners today. Only the 75th and 76th winners of Supercar or Australian Touring Car Championship races in our history. But that's great tradition and certainly a, a valued win from everybody at Ford and everybody at Pro Drive Racing Australia. All the team have done a tremendous job this weekend, first and third on the podium. Congratulations to all six of the drivers that have done an outstanding job today.